I'm never going to let this happen again. And I want to be on the field. I want to hear those fans on the field. All you have is your reputation. You're part of something bigger than just like playing the game and winning the game. Sounds like still bothering today. Yeah. On your left side. 2015 was difficult at first just because I hadn't been like in many camps and then I got injured right before, you know, a few camps before the World Cup. So like I had no idea like if I was even in the picture. I was just like in the worst mood and you did not want to be around me during that time period. Just like absolute like gutted to be there and just the fact that I was in the stands, I was just like, I couldn't take it. Now everything moving forward is to make that next World Cup team. As an aging player, you get to a certain age where like you either change or you just get old fast. So I was at that point, and then that also was like compounded with like this kneeling, it was a very uh, hot button issue at the time. If I want people to stand up for my rights, like I have to do that and, and people should do that. I just feel like I had to like double down on everything I believed in. Off the field, on the field, myself, like who am I gonna be? And I just knew that like, if I was gonna like come back from it all had to be so undeniable. These players, Pino for an example, doing all these things off the field to like grow our game and so many different discussions about, you know, equality and all these other things that are basically changing the game for women and not just in soccer, for everything. I think it's been daunting for me. How do you balance all of that and this? Like at first I was just like, I can't even be a part of this because I'm not to the level that they are. And it's been like this learning course for me where I'm like, well, actually I am. I'm, I'm a part of this team. I'm a member of this team. And I, you know, can now influence young girls as well and influence the game. and and help these players that have already brought it to, you know, perspective for people and, and made it a known thing. How you doing? Wow. Good. Hey, how you doing? Good. 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 Yeah, have seen you. To talking about the World Cup itself. Okay. Because you've been asked like 10,000 questions about the World Cup at this point. So you both turned pro really early, had to go live in another country really early. Yeah. And you're the lowest part of my career was probably when I was at PSG. I was 18 at the time and the coach at the time was very brutal with me and it was just to a point where it wasn't really about my play, it was more about my body image and how I looked. Basically that was the reason I was not playing. I proved him wrong and I was starting in three or four weeks after that. I haven't like spoken openly about that in a long time, but you know, our voice matters and we can influence so much now. The younger kids now have so much opportunity, like there's just so much more available to them. I feel like their influence is gonna be so much bigger than ours. Yeah, I'm a mess. <laughs>